video, we're going to learn how to use the Binomial Distribution app, specifically the Explore and Find Probability section. If you want to look at the binomial distribution for a certain number of Bernoulli trials and you have that probability of success, you can modify that here and it will show you the visual. One thing I would recommend is entering your own values for N or P because they are pretty limited as to what you can hit with this slider. So this makes it a little bit easier. So if I took a sample, let's say of 25, and the probability of success was 0.312, I would enter it just like that. And you can see how that binomial distribution would look visually. You also have a probability distribution on the bottom left here. So if you wanted to look at each respective probability, you could, and they're all in one place. Let's go ahead and learn how the find probability section looks here and how we use it. So there's a couple different things you can look at when you're dealing with binomial probability. If you're looking for the probability of a specific event, then you would use P of X equal to X and specify what that value is. So if I want to know what's the probability when X is equal to five, so we can hover on this bar and see that it's 8.87%, but I can also type that here and you'll see that it spits that out in the table below. So whether I hover, which gives it to me as a percentage, or if I use this table that spits out, we see that it's 0 0.0887. You could also use this for calculating a cumulative statement. So that is lower tail or upper tail, as well as interval, depending on what you're looking for. So if you want a lower tail, what could be an example of that? Now you'll notice here, it says, lower tail p of x less than or equal to x. So that means anything starting at zero up to and including that boundary point. So if I enter five here, then that's going to give me the total probability between zero and five. So notice it says p of x less than or equal to x. So that means everything and it's now shaded in dark orange here, anything between zero up to that value is being added together. So this would be an example of something like finding the probability that X is at most five, or you could say that it's less than six because less than six would be anything five and below. You could also look at this as cumulative statements with upper tails. So this means starting at five and going up to whatever the maximum is. So the maximum n value is 25, so it's anything from five up to and including that upper boundary point, which would be whatever your maximum number of Bernoulli trials was, in this case, 25. And then in between, very similar to how the normal distribution app works, is that you're looking for a specific minimum and a specific maximum. So if I wanna know the probability that X is between, let's say six and eight, that would be according to this inclusive. So that includes six, that includes eight. So I would enter X1 as six, X2 as eight. And you'll notice that it highlights those values for us. So again, the visual is giving us what we're looking for. So you wanna make sure that the picture lines up with what you're putting in here. And you could sketch this on your paper first, or let's say that you wanted exclusive of those values. Well, if you wanted to exclude six and eight, that means it would only include seven. So you just have to be mindful of how you enter the data and what it is you're truly looking for here. But if you can figure out what you're looking for, then remember that your visual of that binomial distribution is going to match with whatever it is you're entering. So you have those options, lower tail, upper tail, interval, or if you just wanted a specific value. Like in this case, if you just wanted seven, you could calculate it using x equal to x as well. Thanks for watching.